Welcome back to my channel everybody. Today is going to be another what eat in a day. Um, my built bars came in and I wanted to do a taste test so I figured let's film another what eat in a day. Um, I know I post a lot of these on my channel but I know a lot of you enjoy um, them so here I am today to do another one. Anyways, this morning before I headed out to work, I had four of my dried figs. I will post a picture here. I posted about them um, in a couple what I ate in a days ago. Um, I count zero points because they're literally just figs dried. Um, I know you're supposed to count points, but I'm a rebel, so that's what I do. So right now I'm sitting at zero points. Um, I went to a local like healthier restaurants and I picked up some lunch. I think it's really important to support local businesses right now. Um, so that's what I did. I ordered from there, gave them a little nice tip. So um, as a business owner, um, I know the struggles right now. So I just wanted to kind of give back. So I'll show you guys what I'm having. I'm really excited. It is delicious. Look at this guys, one sec. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, look how good that looks. So that is my lunch. It's gonna be hard to kind of count because there's a lot going on. Um, there's like rice. You know what? Let's pull out the description and I'll tell you what's in it. This is what's in it. Um, warm organic brown rice layered with a crunchy slaw, purple onions, cabbage, carrots, pickled cucumbers, corn salsa, mango salsa, spicy tomato and bean chipotle sauce warmed with chicken breast pieces, avocado cream and cilantro. No cilantro for me because if you guys don't know, I hate cilantro. Um, so that's what's in there. Don't know how I'm going to count it, but you know what? It is one of the healthier options that I could have picked, so I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna take a bite on camera. I'm gonna try to get like literally everything in it, and that's gonna be a struggle and a half. You guys, this looks so good. Okay, I think I have everything. This is gonna be the biggest bite ever. Mmm. A plus. So good. I could like just sit here and eat this all day. This chicken in here reminds me of my Mexican chicken that I make in the crock pot. This one has black beans and stuff in it. But anyways, I don't know how I'm gonna count the points on that, but I'll let you know when I figure it out. I'll just post it here. Um, I'm also having a pressed juice from a local place here as well. It is sold at the restaurant that I picked this lunch up from, but I'm gonna do a little taste test. Um, they make like a fall um, juice that I love. It's like um, apple cider vinegar, lemons, pressed apples so good but they don't obviously have it i think there's like little cinnamon and ginger as well in there um anyways this is really full so this has apples rhubarb strawberries lemon and ginger um i'm not counting points for this i never do um again i'm a rebel i just um figure you know i don't have this very often so let's not count it let's try it though oh yeah she fresh That's pretty good. I taste a lot of ginger, which is fine, um, but it's so good. Um, so I'm gonna have a very good, like, nutritious, dense lunch. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this, and then we'll probably see you guys back when I get home. Um, so stay tuned if you wanna see what I think of the new Built Bar flavors. I'm probably gonna have it either before dinner or after dinner, we'll see. But anyways, I'm gonna eat my lunch, and we'll see you guys later. All right guys, so here is my dinner. I had some leftover grilled chicken and asparagus from the other night, so I wanted to use that up. So I have five ounces of chicken for three points. And then to use up the asparagus, I had some Asian style noodles that I used. And then for the sauce, I used my Epicure garlic and onion, I think it is, or garlic and herb um, nutritional yeast topper. And then I used two teaspoons of light butter for one point. So the sauce is one point, the noodles are five points. So six for the pasta, again, three, four, for the chicken breast so this is a nine point dinner guys, I'm done dinner it was delicious and I'm glad the way it turned out sometimes you know leftovers get boring because it's literally the same thing that you had the night before so I kind of changed it up a bit and it was really really good um, so I'm sitting at 23 points right now I am going to have a built boost I am um, two workouts away from finishing my three week Chloe Ting challenge. So I need to get that in. There's four workouts tonight, so it might be a little bit of a long one, but that's okay. And then I also am just sipping, I can grab it. Ooh. I'm still sipping on my um, pressed juice. I'm probably not gonna finish this. I'm gonna save the rest for tomorrow. I just wanted to quickly come on here and give you guys an update. 
I hate the glare that my glasses give. But anyways, I'm going to get dressed, have my Built Boost, and then we'll see you guys back after my workout, and we will try the new Built Bars. My workout's done. I just got out of the shower and I'm here to do the Built Bar taste test. Um, I'm going to probably do the pineapple first just because um, I don't think I'm going to like that one. Well, I might like it, but not as much as the others. Um, fun fact about me, I used to not like pineapple. And it wasn't until about two years ago when we went camping, my friend brought out some pineapple. And, you know, I was just eating it and I'm like... I actually kind of like this. Um, so anyways, let's try the pineapple upside down cake first. Let me just find it first, actually. Where are you? It's gonna be like the last one in the box. There it is. All right, so this one is three points. Um, let's see how it tastes. You know what? I don't mind this one. You can definitely taste the pineapple, but to me it almost tastes like pretty similar to the mango. If you guys remember, I think it was like last summer, they released it for a little bit, um, and now they actually have a back. Um, you have like an option online um, to choose, I think six bars of them. And there's actually real mangoes in them now. I did order some of those because I placed a second order. But anyways, I actually don't mind this one. So I'm gonna give this I'll probably give this like a seven. Not bad, not bad. Water. You gotta clear my palate. So the next one we're gonna do is lemon blueberry. This one is four points. I'm actually really excited for this one because I loved blueberry cheesecake when it was out and I love the lemon. So I'm hoping this one's just as good combined. And apparently there's real blueberries in here, like blueberry chunks. So this should be interesting. Hmm. Mmm. Yes. This one's good, guys. I don't know if those are chunks or those are chunks of chocolate when I bite, you know, from when I bite down. But very good. I'd probably give this like a nine. I'm probably gonna buy these because I quite enjoy them. I'm gonna have like four half-eaten bars here. Let's do the peanut butter banana. I love the peanut butter bar and I actually like the banana bar. So let's see how this one tastes. This one is five points, I believe. So a little bit higher than the peanut butter bar, but that's okay. It smells good. Mm. I don't know about this one, you guys. There's actual peanuts in there. I don't know. Like, it's okay, but it's not great, so. I'd probably give this one a six. I Like I said, I like the banana, I like the peanut butter, but there's something missing in this bar. I don't know what it is, so given that it's five points, I probably won't order those again. I'll probably eat those, like, if I have enough points left. So the last one's gonna be the coconut pecan pie. This one's six points, so this better be dang good for six points. Um, we'll see. <clears throat> okay, let's go. I love coconut, I love pecan, so. The coconut almond built bar is one of my favorites. Why do I smell everything before I eat it? I'm just waiting to see if it has an aftertaste. Um, most Bilt Bars don't have aftertaste, but some of them to me, they do. So I'm just waiting for that. This one doesn't seem to have one. Neither do any of the other ones, but um, I'm also very sensitive to caramel. Like I'm not a huge fan of caramel, and that's why I don't really like most of the caramel flavors. That they've come out with. Um, I would give the caramel pecan, not caramel pecan, coconut pecan pie probably like 
an 8 out of 10. So, I mean, it's not bad, but I, would, I don't want to spend the 6 points on it. If I had points left over, I probably would reach for the pecan pie over the um, banana peanut butter one. Um, I wasn't really impressed with that one. So, if I had to rate them, just going by, like, point-wise and, um, like how much I'd reach for them. I would do the lemon blueberry. Um, like the pineapple is pretty good, so let's say the pineapple, and then the caramel pecan pie, and then the um, banana. Um, is it banana peanut butter? P peanut butter banana. Peanut butter banana. Oops. The coconut pecan pie actually tastes a little bit like the um, oatmeal cookie that they came out with a while ago. Um, so yeah. I mean, I'm impressed. I'm more impressed than I was with their other limited release flavors because it's been a hit and miss for me. So, um, so I definitely recommend the blueberry lemon. If you're gonna spend the points, I would much rather spend the points on the coconut pecan pie than the peanut butter banana. Um, now that I like had the full effect of the um, coconut pecan pie, there is a slight, maybe a little aftertaste, but it's not bad. So anyways, um, I'm going to count all of that as 7 points, so I'm sitting at 30 out of 30 points. Um, I'm going to wrap these up and save them so I don't waste them. Unfortunately, they don't send their ambassadors any of the samples anymore before anything's released. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know kind of what I thought before you ordered them. Um, of course, we all have different taste buds and we might like different things, but that's just what I think of the new bars. Let me know down below what your favorite built bar is. Mine is, well, I have a top like three, I guess. Is it three? Yeah. Uh, I like coconut almond, the original peanut butter, and then the peanut butter brownie. But that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.